So we had water coming out of the crack above the surface right there. After you see that was changed there. And the water is coming out from the hole right there in the pipe. See the pipe's pretty old so I made that little hole there with the sledgehammer. But I said, you know what, I might have to replace more than just what we see there. So I decided to get the boom boom machine and break all around here. And what I found that was in that hole, that for me, they shoved this old Coke bottle to level out the, to support the pipe. And having that over the years underneath it, with the oxidation and the shift in the earth caused it to crack right there so now time to clean this up that I can excavate around that pipe so that I can cut it out hopefully around here it's gonna be dry but it all depends how long that was leaking for alright so many ask how could pipes end up rotting away well see the level right there it's completely flush it's not supposed to be you have to have a differential of at least up to one eighth or actually two eighths to one quarter of an inch per feet of a drop in order for it to be consistent of the flow obviously here you know and and up here in Canada with uh, the temperatures uh, there's a lot of shift in the land so that could have been a shift and what happened in this case, what I pulled up from underneath where the pipe was broken there was this coke bottle that was they shimmied in in order to make, to hold the pipe in its place. And when it rotted up, it actually blocked the pipe. So that's what was causing uh, all the sinks up in the upper apartments to uh, fill up and take a long time for it to drain. And no wonder when the snake was pushed out, it probably broke the pipe even more since it had nowhere to go. So, I went up a good six feet so far. You see here, it's all pretty much dried up. So the problem was there. But the drop starts there for the pipe. So I'm going to go up at least another three to four feet. The best thing to do was follow it all the way up to where the joint is to the main sewage pipe. That would be the best way to go. Uh, but if uh, the pipe's in very good condition around here, I'm probably just going to cut it off there and drain it up, but I'll run it by the owner and make sure that's what they want, unless they want me to go all the way to the drain over there. Anyways, i got a lot of work to do. That pipe was all right. It's all nice and dry over there compared to where the busted up pipe was. So I went in a good another five feet just to make sure everything was okay. The pipe's in good condition. I passed the snake to clean it out since I was already there. Unclogged everything that needed to be unclogged. Now I got my PVC pipe right here, which I'm gonna that fits perfectly fine. And now just to make sure, like what I discussed about before. If you see right there, it's a perfect slant on the distance that it is. And right here, I need to get unbelievable. I thought it was two inches, it's actually a one and a half for the sinks from two apartments. That's definitely not what I would put personally. I would put a two inch, but unfortunately, the metal one that's up there is one and a half. So that's how it's going to stay until uh, that upper portion decides to die one day, which uh, I don't think it will since it's on a free fall. But, uh, heck of a job, but it's getting there. And if you see, this is exactly the clamp that we're going to get. Three inch to three inch. I always suggest that you put it in first. Have it there and then you can play around with it, slide it in. Always support the pipe. Notice that I'm not stepping anywhere on the pipe. It's uh, compacted with the gravel. And then uh, I'm going to take our nice little dry gravel and fill it all up 
and then I'm going to put a clean up right there in the corner for it. I'll definitely tape that when it's done. Nah, I can't say lo que hice. So there we have the three to three, three inch, ninety. Clean up. And done. Time for